Good morning, guys. Good morning. This is Mr. Mike and uh, me, Moby Dog, and we are back again with our so called Why not BS? Yes. Yeah, Why not brainstorm? Why not brainstorm? This is the brainstorm section where we talk about great nuggets, right? So that yeah, we can take something, something practical from this show. So it seems like we have to uh, make a brainstorm on the one line also. Exactly, exactly. And uh, you know, you know, they make actually a difference in the world. Whatever you talk about, right? But we don't necessarily call it the universal truth, something like that. You get to have your own, you know, uh, your intuition or your own investigations about what you talk about. So let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get started, right? What is the topic today? It's a mobby. Yeah, it's all about the time waster. What do you mean? Uh, so on time waster. Right? Becoming a yeah, real successful person in your life. Okay. We are talking about it, those time wasters. So we're talking about time wasters, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you define time wasters? We just we, we just saw the definition, right? It's a time waster, someone or something that wasting a fuck load of time. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Some things or someone that are not giving you for any benefits of any interest. Not being productive, not being productive on work, right? But what about those people? Right? We don't have to, like, like let's say, let's admit one thing, right? You know, like time waster, time waster. I mean, like. Uh, it only relevant to a person who's got a goal, right? A person who want to be successful, yeah, and doing a, doing the thing that's exactly opposite. I mean, like you know, like, exactly, exactly. Do, but 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 have intention to be successful. I mean, I mean, like we cannot say anything. We we cannot give point this drum to somebody or anybody who who doesn't have a goal and don't want to be successful. We just want to be stacking right there, right? But a person who wants to do, to do something and who want to be successful, but Whatever he's doing is not productive. That's what they call time waster. Is it? Yeah, that's a good Or is it a person who is out there, right? Don't have a friend, don't have any goal, but kind of disturbing some other person, you know, who's got a goal, who's got a mission, who's got an agent that will go somewhere and be someone, right? But the person who doesn't know it, who doesn't have anything, who kind of like come in between and kind of just have a lot, are those the kind of people who call time wasters? Yeah, you know, uh, in the point that the uh, person are trying to uh, achieve something. Exactly. Let's talk about it, right? They get distracted. Yeah. They often, you know, ponder or you know, like, like got uh, into yeah, a situation exactly. or like things that is uh, making them yeah, distracted yeah. and uh, accent that are making them low confident on about their journey. Okay. That kinds of things are so also the time measures. Yeah, exactly. Let's start with time measure number one. They think that would be the biggest time measure of any process. So exactly. the number one thing is what would be the Time waster. I just told you, right? I've heard this term for the first time, right? I've read so many books, I've seen so many videos, but I've never heard this term at time waster. It's kind of like it's it's in the Google, so definitions there. That definitely it is actually a, you know valid, a valid words that's spoken and, and like so you know, define those people who are actually distracted and get confused. You know, like the, in the. You know, in the journey of uh, becoming someone or getting somewhere, right? You know, the first point, right? Let's get to the first point. I think, like, actually, we don't have any point, but we're trying to make some point, exactly. right? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I think the procrastination is also could be the hundred percent bro. Time pro- for any persons. Uh, you know, definitely people. You know, I, I think the lack of conviction. You know, like mm-hmm. everybody wants to be successful. Everybody do something, all right? Mm-hmm. And uh, due to the lack of, you know, you know. You know uh, you know, great faith, mm-hmm. or, and also could be the habit of yeah, procrastinating and many things that could also be the you know, you know, habit. yeah, exactly. Man, what my point is like the people who doesn't have much convictions mm-hmm. about the things and they're not certain about you know the person they want to be, they can't be. It's mm-hmm. you know, it, it comes down to a paradigm, right? Mm-hmm. If they don't have that, you know, you know, like they can do can do attitude towards the things they, they want to achieve or the person they want to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, then the procrastination will attack them and mm-hmm. they will be you know procrastinating a lot because mm-hmm. they know you know whatever I try to do to become successful, whatever I try to achieve, it's all not going to work out it's not going to work and that's the kind of doubt they will have in their mind so you know mm-hmm. rather than me you know getting into this kind of freaking you know the painful activities why would I want to do this now I just I would just love to procrastinate there's already so many things out there I can exactly. do right yeah. like you know like like being in a mundane situation like smoking drinking I mean you know people actually do procrastinate I think because you know like they're you know their purpose is either not 
big enough, juicy enough, or mm-hmm. they don't really believe, you know, that they can achieve that, mm-hmm. they can make that happen. And I would say the doubt, you know, and the lack of conviction mm-hmm. and not having, uh, you know, faith in their ability mm-hmm. actually lead people to be, you know, mm-hmm. procrastinating mm-hmm. on the things they, you know, want to do, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, one thing is pretty, you know, obvious that people are a little confused, a little, you know, people have a doubt, you know, that's mm-hmm. why, like, you know, the, the, you know, everybody has a doubt, right? A little okay. bit of doubt really has, but should be ready to risk, you know, and have, should have a can-do attitude. Exactly. Exactly. So, enthusiasm. So, so, so the second point could be that I think the fear of losing uh, anything or so losing business or losing some kinds of the relationship they have also could be the one of the biggest time.